This mixture A contains liquid B and C in the ratio of 2 is to 3, while mixture D contains liquid C and E in the ratio of 3 is to 7, right? So, there is a mixture A which contains B and C in 2 is to 3 ratio. Then there is mixture D which contains liquids C and E in 3 is to 7 ratio. The two mixtures are mixed in such a way that for every portion of B, there is two portions of E in the resultant mixture. So, basically two mixtures are mixed to form a new mixture, the resultant mixture, in which for every single portion of B, we have got two portions of E. Find the ratio of C versus B and E together in the resultant mixture. Right, so let's let's understand what's happening what's happening here. Right, this is mixture A, let's say, and then we have got mixture uh, mixture D. Right, A has got B and C in what ratio? B is to C ratio here is two is to three, and D has got uh, C and E in what ratio? Three is to seven. Right, C is to E in the ratio of three is to seven. These two are mixed to form a resultant mixture. Right, this is the resultant mixture, which will have B, C, and E of course. Right, B, C, and E. Now, what is the ratio here is the question basically, B is to C is to E. Once you get B is to C is to E, you can find out what is the ratio of C versus B and E in the final mixture. So, let us let's work on this ratio first of all. Now, how are these two mixed? Are the quantities equal or what is, what is the uh, criteria? Well, nothing has been given about quantities, but what we know is for every one portion of B, for every single portion of B, there are two portions of E there are two portions of E. So, if you take one part of V, you will take two parts of E and so on. Now, for us to be able to solve this question easily, first of all, you need to balance the number of parts of B with respect to the number of parts of E. Only then we can say for taking one of B, we are taking two of E. You, you are able to follow. Like in, in the current situation, I cannot say one part of B is taken and then two parts of E are taken. It, it does not solve the problem right it has to be balanced first of all so so this value 2 here and value 7 here have to be made equal how can you do that what is the common uh, multiple of 2 and 7 14 so let's make both of them 14 how can that be done see this ratio here 2 is to 3 can be taken as 14 is to uh, 21 right yes or no 2 is to 3 is nothing but 14 is to 21 similarly the ratio 3 is to 7 can be taken as 9 is to 21, right? 14 is to 21. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We want both to be 14, right? So, 14 is to 21 and 6 is to 14. 6 is to 14. You're getting it? We have multiplied this by 7. And we have multiplied this by 2. So, 2 into 7, 14. By which 3 into 7 becomes 21, and here we want 7 into 2, 14. So 3 into 2 becomes 6. So that these are the ratios. Basically, ratios have not changed. We are just multiplying both the terms by a common value, there, right? 2 is to 3 is as good as 14 is to 21. 3 is to 7 is as good as 6 is to 14. So now what happens? You know that B has got 14 parts, and C here has got 21 parts. In the second mixture, C has got 6 parts, and E has got 14 parts. Now it will be easy for you to go by the given point, right? What is the point? For every portion of B, we take two portions of E. For every portion of B, we take two portions of E. Now, how do you do it? See, if you if you see currently here, we have got 14 parts of B and we have got 14 parts of E. But according to the question, if you take 14 parts of B, you must take 28 parts of E. Or if you take 7 parts of B here, you must take 14 parts of E. The ratio between this term and this term should be 1 is to 2, right? B and E should be 1 is to 2. So, basically what we can do is we will multiply this ratio by 2 again. So, 6 is to 14 becomes 12 is to 28. 12 is to 28. And this will remain as it is into 1. Why into 1? We are just trying to do what the question says. Right? So, this remains 14 is to 21. Right? For every one portion of B, we are taking two portions of E. And automatically when you take one portion of B, one portion of C also comes out in, in that ratio 4 is 21. Similarly, when you take two portions of E here, accordingly the portions of C would come out. So now if you see, this 14 here represents B, this 21 represents C, this 12 here represents C and 28 represents E. So in the resultant mixture, what happens? B is to C is to E. In this mixture, B is to C is to E would be how much? B is to C is to E would be 14 is to C is what? 21 plus 12. 21 plus 12 is to E. 28. 
But then the question is not B to C is to E. The question is C versus B to E. So C is to B plus E. How much will that be? C is 21 plus 12, 33. And B plus E. Add these two. Add 14 and 28 is 42. That's it. So 11 is to 14 will be the answer, right? 33 is to 42 is 11 is to 14. 3 into 11, 3 into 14. So option 4 is the final answer. Very simple. Explanation has taken time. The usual point that I always make and which is also the fact. But it's not lengthy. The solution is not lengthy. And, and please do not do all this uh, diagrams and all in the exam, right? Don't start doing all this. This is not needed. You are not going to get extra marks for this. Just play with the ratios, right? One ratio is 2 is to 3. Right? One ratio is 2 is to 3. The other ratio is 3 is to 7. First of all, since we are talking about B and E, like for every portion of B, we want two portions of E. What do you do is B part here 2 and E part here 7 have to be balanced. Do that. After that, just multiply the first ratio by 1, second ratio by 2 because every portion of B, we want to take two portions of E. You will get the final ratio very easily. Once you have got the final ratio, you can add, get the required answer. Alright?